The IMS 1500M is designed for field deployment. Each antenna component has a custom design case, protecting it from damage during transportation, while providing easy access for assembly. Shown here is the commercial version of the IMS 1500. Both the military and commercial versions assemble the same way. Begin by removing the leg pin and unfolding the legs. Once unfolded, reinsert the pin. Finish by folding down the handle. Once the tripod's assembled, it's easy to relocate it if needed. Place the azimuth unit on top of the tripod. Secure in place by pulling the latch and pushing the pin up into the azimuth unit and releasing the latch. Then tighten the knob. With the azimuth unit securely in place, the elevation unit can now be placed on top of it. Place it on top and turn it until it falls into place. Secure it by locking the two latches and tightening the screw. Assemble dish sides by setting them on the ground. and then pull them together. Secure them with the latches. Slide the assembled dish over the elevation tube and onto the location pins and screws. Secure the dish in place with the captured nuts. Connect the two upper cables. Connect the CDU, antenna power, and antenna data cables. The antenna is now fully assembled and ready to be connected to a base station. Shown here is a simplified IMS decoder. Other base station assemblies are available with options like shock mounting, power filtering, and uninterruptible power sources. Finally, connect the base station to the system computer. IMNOS2 is designed to facilitate all missions, be them synoptic, military, or research. Flight process begins by clicking the new flight button. Once the user clicks OK, the software enters pre-flight mode, represented by the red background. While the user is configuring flight train information, the 1500 will be initializing. Initialization data will be displayed in the control tab in IMNOS2 and on the CDU at the same time. Once the 1500 has initialized, it will move to its starting position and is now ready to begin its flight. At that point, the antenna will begin to tune for a radio sound, and once found, it will enable automatic frequency control. Current radio sound data will then be displayed.
The flight is almost ready to start. The last information required is current weather conditions. Once the user clicks Ready to Launch, iMetOS 2 will enter Launch Detection Mode, represented by the green screen. The software will wait for the radio sound to be released. After the balloon is released, iMetOS 2 will begin drawing graphs like PTU, winds, density, flight path, and SKU-T log P. iMetOS 2 is also integrated with Google Maps, showing a 2D path and Google Earth for 3D path visualization. iMetOS will produce all standard WMO reports and NATO B2, B3, CM, TA, UAV, Metro 11, and buffer reports.